Darren a point, but it could have been three if we'd finished those chances off. Yeah, I think we just missed that cutting edge today. And um, we said to the lads, we were peaks and troughs in the game. We started off relatively brightly and then um, looked a bit nervous thereafter. We had some we had some chances early on to be fair. We had a few sighters, um, but just couldn't couldn't get that, that goal early early doors to settle us down. Was a bit nervous. Um, obviously we we missed a, a shout for a penalty, which is yeah. by all accounts should have been a penalty. And Cass heads one in and gets a foul against the keeper late on in the game, which which would have won us the game as well. So them things going against us today, but we just lacked that probably that killer instinct. Yeah, you mentioned there the penalty. Jared Rivers great run into the area, and he seemed to be tripped by a defender. Yeah, Jared's come inside, got into the box, um, and got tripped by the defender. Just about as he was going to going to shoot or take his next touch. Um, blatant penalty. Um, the lad said he could even hear the contact, so it's it's not a case of there was no contact. He could hear the contact, um, and we don't get we don't get the rule of the green on that occasion. Yeah, and Jake had a, a goal disallowed there. He seemed to have one or two decisions go against him in uh, innocuous challenges today. Yeah, I think especially with the keeper. I think every time their keeper went up for the for the for the ball, whether he set pieces, corners, the referee was just seemed automatically that he was going to give a, a free kick against. Um, and like I said, Jake, this one, the, the one later on, Jake basically heads the ball, and the keeper comes late with with regards to contact on Jake. So Cass should have come away with a goal, but obviously the referee sees sees otherwise and, and we don't we don't get out of rub of the green. Yeah, and Ben Headley nearly scored. I mean, he hasn't scored yet for Quakers. Are you encouraging him now to move forward a bit? He had two attempts today and one very narrowly off target. Yeah, Ben Ben in training can strike the ball. His technique's relatively good. Um, he cut he cut inside and he was must have been only about 18 yards away from goal. Um, coming on his left foot and he just seemed to just drag the drag the shot a bit wide. But um, again, you look at that and that's that's a great opportunity. Again, it's a, it's another opportunity that we've we've missed unfortunately. Yeah. Pluses in the performance. Uh, Nathan Law, more and more match practice. He's, he'd seem to control the midfield, Alex Berver today. Yeah, Louis Louis come off obviously looked a bit tired, but um, initially we thought done really done really well, comfortable on the ball, wants to make things happen, um, wants to have an influence and an impact on the game. So that that's great for us because we, we we want that to happen more often than not. Um, but he just tired um, later on, so we so we made the change a bit later on. But there were, like I said in the start of the interview, it was peaks and troughs today, and I think that best describes it to be honest. Yeah, unfortunately, no, that's it mathematically for the playoffs, isn't it? Yeah, we needed. To, we, I mean, it was always going to be a big ask mm. today, like going forward, but we needed to win this game and, and the two following suits. But um, unfortunately, that wasn't to be the case today, um, and we've just fell shy this year. And I think um, we know that. We know where we need to to be better at. Um, we'll keep challenging the boys to be better. Um, hopefully, we can now finish the season still with two wins to to, to set us off um, to finish in a decent position this year. Yeah, we got Farsley at home on Monday who were battling against relegation. We won 6 0 at their place, but uh, they're fighting hard now, aren't they? And uh, it's going to be it's not going to be easy. No, I don't think it's I mean, even though we we beat them at their place quite convincingly, there's no there's no real easy games in this league, so we know it's gonna be a tough game for us. Um, we just said to the lads there, uh, we, we need to make it feel a bit different than it was today. Because the day felt like and it probably looked as spectators like it was one of them end of season games where nothing really meant anything. Um, so we we need to make sure that that's not the case at Blackwell when we um, when we've got Farsley coming.